YouTube! What it do, what it do! Today, I'm just chilling. My tour is over, I'm kicking it. I was making a song actually, I was trying to make another song for my little baby boy. Last night I bought a looper, but the looper don't work for me, so I'm gonna return it and hopefully get a different looper. So I was not practicing that all day like I wanted to. Today, I got a, I got a sudden urge to have some steak. I'm hungry, so I'm about to head back to Blue Gap where I grew up at, and I'm gonna cook some steak. So I'm gonna show you all how to do a red style, and then I'm also gonna show you a little bit of where I grew up at. All right? Look at that. Look at your boy. Looking pretty fly for a brown guy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm headed to Bashes, but I'm not gonna record inside of Bashes because people stare a lot, and you're just gonna be like, Aren't you picturing me? And they will say picture too. They won't even say, Why are you recording me? They'll say, Why are you taking a picture of me? This is heading into my house, my mom's house. This is Blue Gap Touchy right here. Got that little thing that goes across the road to see how many people drive through so they can fix the dirt road or the road. But in actuality, that ain't never gonna happen because Navajo Nation has no money for no such roads, which is why everybody's car is all jacked because of the dirt roads and because of the potholes on the road. And that's a preschool. This right here is the chapter house. Now, I'm gonna stop right here at the chapter to see if they fix their tractor so that I can ask them to. Um, I'm trying to build a, a house, so I, I need them. I need for them to use this big old tractor to clear out the space where I need my house to be built. All right, the dirt road toward my mom's house. It's not muddy today. It's pretty good. So I have to walk across the road. And the reason why I gotta do that is because the ditch is kind of um, muddy. Oh crap. Someone's stuck down the ditch. I think it's my auntie who's stuck across the ditch. Like if you live in the city, Y'all need to be extra thankful that you ain't out here dealing with mud like this. Looks like I gotta help take them out. This is what we call a res dog. You don't know where they come from. They just come out of nowhere and then they're your dogs. I got some steak with me. And I'm gonna show y'all how we get down res style. I usually tend to take those things way too seriously, especially if you're an in-law to a new family and you don't know how to use a chainsaw, axe, or a shovel, it's grandmas, aunties, and the uncles, they're going to make fun of that person, that in-law. So my message to everybody out there who's going to be newly introduced to an in-law, your mother-in-law, father-in-law, your girl, your, your girl's cousins and cousin brothers. 
if I was you and if they're extra, extra like all these other people that I know of, not saying I had a lot of in-laws, I'm just saying that I hear a lot of things and people complain about everything. If you are being introduced, learn how to use a shovel or an ax, even a chainsaw. There's nothing wrong with learning how to use those. And the whole feminist thing that's going on around here, it, it, it prevents women from, from being held accountable. Not that it's their job, but usually the ladies say, does she know how to make bread? And when you invite them to their house and the ladies don't make bread, then the parents look, the parents of the boy look at the lady funny, like she don't know how to make bread. She don't want to wash dishes. She don't want to help around the house. So if you're a lady out there and you don't get extra offended by every little thing, learn how to make bread. Learn how to wash dishes. Don't be too prideful and say, I'm not going to wash their dishes. Yeah, I know how to make bread, but I'm not going to make bread. Truth of the matter is, you probably don't know how to make no bread. And the men out there, if they say chop some wood and you're inside playing some games, I wish I was there. I could smack you right across the face. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Learn how to use a shovel, an axe, or a chainsaw. Because that little thing that I just did looks very sloppy. But I guarantee you that I could make someone's grandma very happy. Mm-hmm. All right. So here's the hole. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little bit of... I'm going to put some... All right, next thing you want to do is just, you know, stack some of the cheese cheese on top. Gotta start off with the small ones. All right, the smaller ones, they catch fire. That's it. Now, man, I could just hear you. I could just hear you. And I'm just talking, the person I'm talking to is that person who's saying, He's doing it all wrong. He's not supposed to do it like that. Shish. He thinks he's a man because he can build the fire. Shish. I bet he doesn't build a fire like that as in loves. Shish. If it was me, I would have thought it like this. Shish. If it was me, I would have been like, Dang, I'm back, huh? And then I would have done a backflip and burnt the whole thing and then just lit it and then cook my steaks. Shut up! That's what I got to say to you. Shut the hell up. I don't care what you would have done. I don't care if your axe is better than mine. Shoot. Shut the hell up. Then what you got to say. What you got to do. Look at my, look at my, um... My lighter. I bet you out there like, Chase, my lighter's better than his too. I had my lighter for 100 years. You know what I gotta say to you? Shut up! Give a damn what you gotta say and what you gotta do. You know what you need to do? You need to stay on your video games. Keep playing them video games. That's what you need to do. Oh, you know what else you need to do? You need to pull up. Pull up, son. It's the res folks who talk a lot of nonsense to the res folks. That's just the way the world works around here. Nobody's ever proud of each other around the res. Let me tell you that right now. You see, I just got done with a three-week tour, man. I was visiting schools across the nation, probably talking to your kids. Ain't not a one person said, dude, that's awesome, dog. Keep it up. I'll support you. What do you need? Do you need a place to sleep at one of these locations? I know you don't want to waste money on spending money on a hotel. Nothing, dog. That's the problem, though. Ain't nobody happy for each other on the res. Okay. There's the fire. 
well on the way of making some bomb steaks. Shish. Can you hear you middle-aged Navajo men talking all your trash? You know what? You too. Shut up! Shut up. Shut the hell up. Alright, anyways. So, next thing you gotta do is you gotta grab your grill. And then, it's gotta be on the side where your meat's gonna cook. You gotta set it off so it burns it off it burns off whatever you cooked previously like usher just let it burn and then what the hell is usher talking about let it burn why would you want to let it burn if it burns gotta go to the clinic <laughs> bam look at him steaks Fat steaks. And I also got some corn. Bada boom. Bada whizzang. I'm going to move some of the extra burning wood off to the side. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. That this whole thing on this side will go to waste, but it won't. All right. Shut the hell up and let me handle this. Boom. Look at that. Look at that Chris Watt. This right here is called a quinishkish, and it scares away all the yannies. You sort of just use it like a gun. And all the yannies disappear. Now what y'all do is you grab the grill, shoot. I made the hole a little big, so put that baby right there. Put that baby right there. Grab the grill. Bam! Set that baby up there. Boom! <sighs> I'd like to send an apology to all of my vegan and vegetarian friends out there. I'm so sorry that you'd rather not eat these awesome steaks, I'm so sorry. But, what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna eat it for you. Then you listen for the sizzle. Smell the hands, cause it smells like fresh red meat. This Rez dog is just waiting for some meat. I'll cut you a piece because I know you bark. I didn't flip the steaks already. You can just hear a sizzle. This is okay, no. Now for the moment y'all have been waiting for, this baby right here is done exactly how I like for it to be done. Boom. Now this might still be a little bit red, a little too red if it is. Then I'll just put it back on the grill and let it cook a little more. But, damn! Some salt, babe. Boy, I saw all over this. Mm. Grab a knife. Now, like I said, I only came here to cook some steak. And I ain't trying to be all fancy and have a big old dinner because it's just myself. Hmm. Look at that. Look at that. Boom. Red. Hmm.
I got so many dreams and goals in life, man. Like, I want to build a house. I want to go on a nationwide tour. You see what happens when all the dogs come in. All right, y'all. And that right there is how it's done. <laughs> Look at all the dogs are following me. <laughs> oh, snap. I totally forgot about the car that's stuck down here. Smell of wet dirt. <sighs> Smells so damn good, man. Memories that the wet sand brings. Oh my god, those memories, they're like, they're not even horrible. Oh crap. They're not even horrible. I don't have bad memories with the smell of wet dirt. All my memories are good. And I pray to God that all of my memories stay good. Because certain smells remind me of certain things and certain things I don't like to smell because of certain things that happen. But, damn, it smells really good. That wet sand smells really good. That was awesome. Well, thank you all for watching. Make sure you share this with your peoples. And don't be all shady. Just because I dissed y'all. Some of y'all. Don't feel like I don't like you because I love y'all. Alright? Alright. This is the place where I call home. This is literally where I grew up at. This is where I'm going to live here pretty soon. I'm going to have more than I've ever had. And I guarantee you I'm going to make it happen. <laughs> Y'all ain't about to do nothing.